In this how-to lesson, I'm going to show you how to rip a job like this and send it to your large format printer. Then I'll show you how to do tile array and also how to do print and cut. So the first thing we need to do is load this into the Artwork Manager by clicking here and it loads the artwork into the Artwork Manager. We can now select the printer we want to send it to and set other options like the number of quantities, the printing method. Um, we can add job information which we can decide to print out later onto the job itself and we can set um, other options down here and if I select something like spot colors you'll see the spot colors tab come up and I can set more options here I have some more advanced options here which I will come back to and discuss in a moment but when we're happy with our uh, artwork we can click accept and that will load it directly into the RIP manager the RIP manager is the module that we use to send the artwork uh, to our large format printer and we can set a whole range of options here we can rotate the artwork uh, we can set margins, in other words exactly where we want to print it. We can see a soft proof of the job. We can also set other options, for example that job information we typed in earlier. On or off, crop marks, if we have a printer cutter we can do a weed box. We can adjust our colours um, and, and sort of apply all sorts of options to this particular job. What's very important is to select the correct media profile. That's the ink and media that you're using with the correct ICC profile to match that ink and media set and the printer itself as well. Now these are done in the media library. I'm just quickly showing you where these uh, tools and options are. I won't tell you how to use them just yet because that's all covered in uh, the help files and in other lessons. This is just to give you an idea of where all these things are located. So once we've got that correct we click OK and once we're happy with our job and its position we can click rip only and that will rip it and send it directly to the job queue. I've pre-ripped this job just to show you what it looks like once it has been ripped um, and then we can load some media into our printer, turn it on, click print now and that will immediately start printing onto our printer. We can also decide to keep our jobs, retain them by having this checkbox on or turn that off. Um, if we don't want to keep our jobs we can delete our job out like that and delete them when we are finished with them. So that's how we generally send artwork to our large format printer using the Artwork Manager and RIP Manager. So the next stage is to look at um, tile overlapping. So we'll bring this job in. Now for example we might only have say 48 inch media in our uh, printer so we can't actually print this at its full size. We'd, we have to tile it to our media and then if it's only 48 inches wide but it's a 60 inch job we might split this in half and say 30 inches wide then we'll set a tile overlap of say 1 inch so that'll, that'll actually print it uh, 31 inches on each side and then we just overlap it at an inch on the job and uh, that should be fine. We can also use this little neat feature which gives us a, uh, a record of what we've done it just creates a little image on the clipboard and you can just load that into paint like so and keep that in the background so you remember how this all goes together because you might end up having 10 pieces or so. Just make sure our other settings are correct. Um, we can set all sorts of different options here where we position the job etc but this is all covered in more advanced lessons. This is just to give you an idea of how to tile overlap. So we click accept. That loads it as two pieces as you can see directly into the uh, to the RIP manager. So we'll set our media width to say 48 inches and when we go back to the preview here you'll see that we've got the two pieces. This is uh, the tile 1 and tile 2 and they're set at say the 32 inches apart which allows for the overlap and the, uh, the job information and if we rotate it you can see it doesn't fit so we've got to keep it like this and we'd print it in two pieces. We can set our margins if we want to offset everything a little bit like so. So once we're happy with that um, we can add things like crop marks and uh, other job options that we may want to do like that job information again. Um, we may want to adjust the colors a little bit and you can have a look at the more advanced help topics and all this sort of information. This is where you do it. Um, by bringing it up in this module here you can reset all this if you're not happy with what you've done. Um, and you can use the autocorrect which is like a generic uh, correction. You can get into some very advanced uh, tools and features in here. So once the artwork is ready to go, um, make sure again that your media profile is correct in your, your print mode um, and then you can rip that job like so and go to the job queue and that's waiting to rip. You'd click rip now, it would obviously rip the job out uh, and then you could print it. Then you do say the second, the second part of the job, part two, same thing, rip that out, 
once it's ripped then you can then print it and that will send it directly to your large format printer. Now the other thing you might be interested in is print and cut so on page 2 here I've already prepared this job I've just uh, put a contour cut line around that uh, and you send that to the artwork manager this time what we're going to do is change it to a large format printer cutter which is this VS640 here now it's important to change the method to print and cut and you'll see the preview change like so um, obviously we can go and set other options but for now we'll just send this straight to the rip and you can see that it's now got a different icon there and we can change the print method here to print and cut and you'll see the preview updates to show us that so the program knows that we're going to uh, print and cut this job again we can set all our settings here and we can click rip only that will send it directly to the job queue we can uh, then rip that job and then print it and once we print that it will print it out and then the machine will come back and also cut out the artwork for us um, around the uh, contour cut line we've just made now I've mentioned a lot about help just before so what you do is you click on this help here and that brings up the help topics and there's a whole range of help files like about the artwork manager which we've been looking at before which is the intermediary step before the rip manager this uh, help here talks about how to do the tiling and uh, the cropping options that we were talking about before here we can look at our media profiles and how media profiles work it's very important you understand how all these things work um, it's not that complicated it's just a matter of understanding that you need to select the right uh, ICC profile and the type of media you have uh, to make sure that the results you get are correct um, there's a very good section here on understanding artwork this talks about things like formats and CMYK and uh, RGB and all those sorts of things uh, and how DPI works this section here talks about rendering intents under the ICC color profile section and explains to you how these different rendering intents actually work that's basically the outline of how to do quick uh, printing and uh, print and cut that's the end of this lesson thanks